Well, what's up? I'm Mr. Nova, and today we're going to be talking about iOS 18 Beta 3 re-release. So here's top five features that you might want to check out. So if you're ready, let's jump right into this video. So if we look into Control Center, as you noticed, so when we connect a Bluetooth device, Beat Studio Buds, and it also shows the actual control of of what earbuds or headphones you're connected to at the time. Now on the home screen, the dark antenna icon modes, as you notice right here, go into jiggle mode and we're gonna hit edit, customize. And now if you look, dark mode is actually all dark mode, even some of the third party apps. Yeah, I like, I like this layout a lot better than having some light and some dark, if you understand what I mean. Now we go back in jiggle mode and we go to tint it. Now you can see that it tints it correctly depending where there is also a few little bugs as you notice. Um, also it tints, double tints it or, you know, two tone tints it compared, you know, depending on the wallpaper you're using now if we decide that we want a lighter if we go right here if you see the sun and we turn turn the dark mode off to light mode as you notice the icons lighten up and the wallpaper also lightens up so man that's uh, that's pretty cool but i like mine a little bit darker so i'm gonna leave mine on the dark mode but right now since the actual dark mode icons is now here. I actually prefer, depending on the wallpaper though, I prefer the dark mode since we also have third party uh, icons that are in dark mode. Now you see now if we go to the lock screen, we go to add a new wallpaper. Check this out. So say for instance, I want to try out this one right here. On the globe, you can actually, let's remove these, and I'll put iPhone, and then I'll put a shortcut here, and then I'll also put battery percentage for whatever other device I'm connecting, like a Bluetooth device or anything else that you would think of to connect. Now, if you notice on the shortcuts, it actually shows the right icon for the shortcut instead of just the shortcut icon. So I'm glad they actually fixed this now where we can actually use any one of our shortcuts and the icon actually shows up on a lock screen. So right now I have mine set to Bluetooth and it shows right there. It actually shows the right glyph or icon for, for that shortcut. Now also if we go to customize the uh, lock screen, we get this new option with the the world or the globes or the different ones for the planets. We get this star icon here at the bottom where we can slide it back and forth and change the opacity or the color of the actual words and letters and colors or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Now if we go into settings and we scroll all the way down to apps. Now, as you see, we get a alphabetical order in iOS 18 for all the apps. So apps are actually categorized by, you can either do the slider on the side with your finger, or you can scroll up and you can see everything is in order by letter, by A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. You, you understand what I'm saying? You heard me? You get it. So I like that everything is a lot more organized in iOS 18. Um, since the first release of the first beta, we started getting customization right away, uh, which thank you, Apple. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Also uh, new in iOS 18 beta 3 re-release uh, from the previous beta 3, uh, we had, we was having a lot of connection issues and some bugs. So 
I guess that's why they sent out a re-release. Uh, this one seems to be running a lot smoother. Battery is a lot better in this beta. And uh, we're not having as many connection issues as the previous beta 3, like I said. Um, so it actually looks like it fixed the Wi-Fi issues and also the cellular connection issues. Thanks, Apple. Uh, continue to do more uh, as we need it. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!